In this video, we learn to use a torque wrench like the Yellow Jacket 6648, and we learn why we need that wrench. It's not just advisable, it's necessary. I'm Zach Sciotta, host of the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, and I was doing a video here about vacuum, and I'm going to make a side video because I was overcome with the urge to, even though this is kind of a mock test, to make sure that I had the right torque specs on a flare nut that I'm using. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look because I'm using the Yellow Jacket torque wrench right here, and I'm going to show you how to set it up and I'm going to use it and I've never used it before so I w went and read the instructions like a good man would do and I'm going to set it up for what I need it to do and we're going to see how it works. This is the Yellow Jacket 6648 digital torque wrench as you can see has adjustable head on it some of them have fixed heads this one's adjustable. C button right here that turns the tool on we're going to go ahead and turn it on and we are right there so right now we're already saying 9.0 foot-pounds of torque I've set that up already. Use this U slash S button to select what units you're gonna use. It has inch pounds, foot pounds, Newton meters, and a couple other uh, metric equivalents to foot pounds and foot, or inch pounds and foot pounds. So now that we have our 9.0 locked in, let's go ahead and tighten this thing up. There'll be an LED that comes on when we reached 80% of the target torque. And when we reach the target torque, it's gonna go red and there'll be a little buzzer. So let's check that out. Let's see if it works. It's first time using it, so might be some growing pains, but I look forward to doing it and look forward to legitimately tightening something up to the proper torque settings for the first time in my life. I'm going to have my vice grip wrench on hand for, to counterbalance what we have going on here. You can see the number increasing there. Well, I don't want that wrench slipping down there. Looks like we're right in there. We have a tolerance of between nine and 10. That was a maximum. That is the Yellow Jacket 60, 648 torque wrench in action. That's a quarter inch flare right there. So a relatively small flare torqued to between 9.0 and 10 foot pounds. 10 was the maximum, nine was the threshold. In the course of tightening this flare with the torque wrench here to the specific standard indicated on this page, which is a generic standard based on that brand of fitting, but still it gives us an idea of what we're going to have to do. I noticed something that I typically would have put more power into this than what it asked to put into it. So for some of you girthier people, six foot three, two something, always decreasing now, you may think that harder means sealed tighter, not necessarily true. I would have cracked a few flare nuts or caused a few issues, which I might have already done and not known about it. Get a torque wrench. It'll set you right. Make sure you're doing things right, especially in our VRF mini split world. This is the Yellow Jacket 6648. And uh, you guys just keep on flaring out there. Sorry guys, I have a flare for the dramatic. 